Just listen, just listen, just listen. That's what I gotta say. Yes, with people, how are we doing today? And yeah, it is a pretty depressing week being a Palace fan, isn't it? A pretty depressing time as well. We're absolutely shambles. I mean, the other night was pathetic. It was diabolical and it was a waste of time, you know, for all fans going there just to watch that rubbish, just to watch that. I mean, it was an absolute mess, weren't it? From the minute the game kicked off to the end, there were booze at half time, booze at full time. After the game, fans turned on a few of the players and that as well. It's been a big meltdown on Twitter. Everyone's seen it. And I mean, a big Palace meltdown on Twitter and that. Every single Palace fan that I know, including myself and that, and a few close people and that, who are Palace fans that I know pretty well too, friends and family and that, they want him to go in that as well. Even the people that stuck by Roy for this long want him out. So pretty much the whole of the Crystal Palace fan base is turned against Roy Hodgson. Yeah, I mean, it's just, from, from it's just endless really. I, I look on Twitter and I look at some of the comments he said, you know, um, he, he's calling the fans spoiled. Are you, are you sure? Are you being for real? I mean, you know, are you seriously saying that we've been spoiled at home over the last few years because our home form over the last 10 years has been unacceptable? We can't even manage 10 wins in one single season at home. Do you know what I mean? It, it, you know, in all of our home games and that. I mean, that's how bad it's been. It's been appalling. And then he apologised afterwards, quoting, saying, I owe him an apology. That's like the fifth, sixth time he's apologised to us this season. It's pathetic and it's insulting and it is embarrassing and disrespectful to the Palace fans. And it's not good at all when the manager says petty little comments like that slimy little comments indeed you know and he also says ahead of this game I am fearful that we won't be able to win it but I still believe we can so you clearly got no hope you clearly got no confidence in the players so why should the fans why should the players why should even maybe some of the board members have confidence in you right now to be fair despite you know all the Palace fans turning against Parish Texter and the Blitzer brothers and all the other members involved in that as well I mean honestly this club is just an absolute joke and with Liverpool at home today we're absolutely going to get absolutely hammered I've gone for 6 or loss, if you see my predictions on TikTok, etc. And yeah, I mean, we all know what Liverpool can bring to the table. You know, there's even a rumour saying that Elise is not going to be available for us as well. So that makes our lives a lot easier, don't it? Well, it's not looking good, man. It's not looking good. And it's just going to be an absolutely horrible day at Sellers Park. I don't really want to be going, but got to support Palace through thick and, you know, thick and thin, isn't it, really? You know what I mean? But... No, this club's in an absolute mess right now and it's in the pot, it's in the mud. I'm uh, with my dad right now, um, just we've seen the lineup. I don't really want to talk about it, it's too painful to look at. I'm sure it's painful for you to see that as well. Um, I would say optimistic, but I mean, basically everyone in the Palace fan base has just absolutely lost the plot with Roy, the board, the team. What are you looking for mainly today? I mean, it's, it's you um, know, overall look, based on the circumstances. Every player has got to give 100% today. Yeah. Okay. Um, and and see we see what happens if the if the players give everything I don't want to see at the end of ninety minutes yeah. I I want the players to be in such so knackered they can't walk off the pitch mm. okay that's what I want today <clears throat> the team that's come out Roy's going to park the bus today Lise's on the bench and Roy knows that the only way he's getting anything out of this game is to get it to nil nil with about ten fifteen minutes to go and if we're lucky yeah. we'll get the nil nil and if we're really really lucky we might nick the win. But other than that, he's parked the bus. Um, I don't think we, we're going to stop Liverpool can scoring. What's, what's the score prediction? Like, well, my actual score prediction honestly, is 4 0 to Liverpool. I said 6, so at least so, you're generous. Um, but <laughs> listen, oh, I mean, you know, other than from defence forward, there's no quality in the team at all. Um, not, apart yeah, from no, sort of you. But, um, you know, the, 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 yeah. rest of the, the rest of the team. Look, you you might not have the talent or thing, but you gotta put the effort in. If you can do that, yeah. we might. If we're lucky, get some get out of the game. But lucky, we, oh, God. We, we've got to put some <laughs> effort in. We've got to get the crowd. But they, the players, are gonna get the the the, the 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 fans back on side. Mm. No booze, fair enough. Yeah, I'm
And it's off. Which is round the halfway line. Thirteen minutes into the game, it's been pretty good. We've had a great chance to play a bit more positive, and the atmosphere is a ten out of ten right now. So I'm loving it. So we can keep it up for the rest of the game and that. All over, baby, I'm glad all over, so glad you're mine. It's Tim and Cass on the corner for the Reds. Oh, come on, you Eagles. Just defend this man. Oh! Who are you? Oh my god, we're never gonna get a better we're never gonna get a better chance than that. Oh my lord! Might be Lerma, I think, or Edward, I can't remember if he had a shot, but good save from Allison, but got a score. Man! A pen! Penalty! Might be a red card! Red card! He's off! Red card! Last man! Last man! Is he gonna save the ball? Last man! He's got a card, I don't know who that was. Oh! Oh, let's give it, let's give it a penalty. Let's see what happens next. Oh, oh, oh. It's going to be another 20 minute review from VAR. Oh God. Check it out, check it out. VAR review, here we go. You know what's coming, you just know what's coming in Liverpool in favour. Look at what's happened to them in the past, man. It's corruption. If they don't give this, this is corruption because from where I'm standing, that's a pen, and I don't care what no one says. Go. Premier League corrupt. Hey, Andy Carroll, mate. Referee. Come on, Palace, man. Yeah, he's, he's so good at so good at drawing players in. Good stuff. Half time. Look at the fans, man. Wow. go now that's support man that's support brilliant first half i'm not gonna lie i don't know how the hell we haven't we're not a go up but we'll take a nil nil all day with the circumstances what a performance man solid compact tactically we're getting it right we're keeping our shape man you know we, we, we gotta be patient we got some spark off the bench potentially to come on in frank to a matter maybe Ozo, definitely at least say because if he's on the bench he's probably half fit to bloody come on as a sub so yeah listen i think we just gotta just gotta keep it up man you know gotta take our chances because we should have scored that chance i think it was an over red one i can't really remember because allison made a save apparently the penalty wasn't a penalty that there's an alleged foul in the build-up so that's why the ref never gave the pen it's so then fair enough but i need to see it on the like when i'm when I get back home and that, because I ain't got no connection to have a look at it right now, but yeah, he's definitely biased to Liverpool. We've had a few decisions that should have been free kicks and not gone our way. Yeah, I mean, I hope nothing controversial happens in the second half, because that would really piss me off, but it's well keep out, man. And if we bring the players on, we could potentially get something, because like I said, in this first half, we've been the better team and we should be 1-0 up. So keep it up, Palace, man. Great support. Just keep his energy and his tempo going. Famous red and blue out. Liverpool out early, no surprise, they were shocking. I'll be honest, they're shocking. Mateus getting ready to come on, we know that for Edward. It's going to be a tough second half, I'm sure the Reds will change things up, but we just got to react and respond and keep our shape. And stay composed, man, you know, and take our chance when needed. Even with Mateta up front, maybe bring Elise on. Oh. Oh, Van Dijk, man, got him. Got to be stronger to get past him there, but good play though for Palace. I saw what he was trying to do. Come on! Come on! There we go, that's better. That is good. That is some good football there, just about. Oh, Hughes can get there.
That's a pen, check it out. Check it, ref, man. Come on. My word, they're checking it. They're checking it for a penalty, which means it's got to be a penalty, which means it's got to be a penalty. It's been like three minutes. Three minutes since that happened. My question is, who the bloody hell is going to take it? Oh my lord. What well, a ref. Oh, get lost, Trent. Keep your mouth shut. Yeah, well, lad. Bang, 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 bang. The Texas in the room. There ain't no striker better than dropping it. I don't know how I'm singing this, but fair enough. Look at them. They mugs. Off that diet, you trait, your mugs, your mugs. Mata, 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 man. Yeah! Come on! 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 Oh my god, this is crazy. Goal kick. Oh man, good effort. Oh, I don't know what it was. It, it wasn't a good effort. It wasn't a good effort actually. Got to get in the corner. Come on, Scotty. Lerma! How are you giving us a foul? What? I don't know what Lerma's doing there. How are you giving that to you? How is that a yellow ref? Are you mad? Are you crazy, man? Jordan Eyes has been sent off. Referee, you dirty little scout, so and so, mate. Absolutely disgraceful. Sheet. Cheat, 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 cheat. Cheat, cheat, cheat. You're giving Ayu a second yellow. Shambles, it was nothing in it. It was the softest foul in the world. You disgraceful son of a... You disgraceful piece of crap. It's not even Ayu's fault. Absolutely disgraceful. He did that on purpose, the ref, the little mug. Salah scored that. Referee, man. I mean, we switched off there, but that referee, that referee can just go to hell. It's corruption. It is corruption. One of their players does that. One of their players does that. He's not even sending them off. That's fake. He's checking it. I mean, who's the scouser in the black? Who's the scouser? The player gets sent off for no accurate reason there. Yeah? And he's got to go and score, all thanks to the ref, so well done referee back in Mark. I mean, Matthew's coming off for Johnson, he's injured. Not good, not good, this looks bad as well. Got no luck with injuries, man. We're, we're in big trouble, big trouble. Super Sam Johnson in goal, my God. Who's the Scouser in the black? Who's the Scouser? Who's the Scouser? Who's the Scouser in the black? Who's the scouser in the black, you mug? It's the winner. Uh, Mateo has got to close down. I was watching him there the whole time. He didn't close it down. Nothing the keeper could do. Uh, that's the referee. That's nothing to do with Roy's tactics or us. Well done, referee. Your scout. Two, one. To the referee. Two, one. To the referee. Two, one. To the referee. Two, one. To the referee, two 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 one. To the referee. Well, they're not checking that. It's ten minutes added on. Oh man, they're celebrating. They've already won the league. They've been dire. Don't deserve it.
Don't deserve to be in front, man. They've been pathetic. Police, they come. He's got to get in that box. What a save from Allison. What a save from Allison. Oh, we've got a corner. Come on, keep it. Get up. Get forward. I will never. Please, please, please. Please say, please. Oh, Jesus. Referee. Well done, referee. You cheat. You waste of space. What? Hey. First and foremost, yeah, congrats on the team, man. They've done well, but this referee is a mug. He's a cheat and he's a disgrace and he's an insult to Premier League football. Should never ref a Palace match again. Should never ref a Premier League game again, you mug. Hold on, Palace, man. Didn't deserve that. Deals. Hold on, man. Listen, I'll give it to the players. It's been a poor week. But it's a good hold on. It's a referee, you mug. You go to hell. Go to hell, referee. You cheat. You waste the space. Oh, they bang you. All right, just got back from the Liverpool game and um, yeah, we were absolutely robbed. The referee was a disgrace. Liverpool don't deserve to be walking away with three points. Absolutely not. Top of the league, my foot. You know, we were in control of that game. We were the better team throughout and then the ref just gave the game to them, sending off are you from, from where I was. I haven't seen the highlights back yet, but it looked like a soft second yellow. It's ridiculous. Why did their players do that? Which they did. He didn't even give them a second yellow or nothing or send them off. It's pathetic. You know, does a good favour, giving us a penalty and then he just gave it to Liverpool. You know, absolutely disgraceful and I'm absolutely fuming and peed off right now. But what a performance from Palace. Should have won the game. Had a load of chances of that, you know, if it wasn't for the goalkeeper, we probably would have been walking away with three points. But yeah, I mean, the Premier League's corrupt. When you're playing these big teams and that, you know, you always got to face the ref on their side. It's like facing 12 men pretty much, isn't it? Premier League is absolutely corrupt. But credit to Roy. We stopped Liverpool from playing and that, and um, yeah, you know, we were the better team, went 1-0 up and then it's a shame what happened, but it's what happens when you've got crappy refs in this league, you know, best league with the worst officials, you know what I mean, but we play like that between now and the end of the season, we'll stay up, you know, we show fight, determination, desire, and we cared in that as well, and putting a tough, gritty performance in that, that's what we need to do to fight, because we're in a relegation fight. It's going to be a long season, it's going to be a long, tough season, we've just got to get through it, and we've just got to fight hard, we need to sign some players, jam parishes to buck his ideas up and do so. Yeah, um, this may put the paper over the cracks a little bit. I'm still Roy out. I'm still Parish out and that, you know, against them too in some way. But yeah, we were robbed massively. I'm just gutted and a bit deflated because we didn't deserve that. We should be walking away with three points, not a loss, in my opinion.